and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jeskai Weatherlight that's going to kick off our Throwback Thursday stream today. It's favorite day of the week, Throwback Thursday. This is where we build decks around rares and mythics that are going to be rotating out of standard um, whenever Throne of Eldraine releases here in just a couple of weeks and uh, let them see some some play before they leave. And we're, we're talking about building around rares and mythics that are not only rotating out, but ones that didn't really see much standard play before. So this is Jeskai Weatherlight, because I wanted to build around the two Weatherlight cards. Well, really just, you know, Weatherlight. So this is our four mana vehicle. Um, it's a four five flyer, and then whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you look at the top five cards of your library, you may reveal a historic card from among them and put it into your hand, then put the rest on the bottom of your library. So basically, you get to look at the top five and put a historic card into your hand. So All right, so and it has crew three. So a couple of things. So we need to have a bunch of historic cards, which as you can see on the, the right-hand side of the card there, historic artifacts, legendaries, and sagas are historic, so we need those. And we also need uh, three power creatures to be able to crew this. If you, don't, if you don't really understand crew, basically you need to tap three power worth of creatures. It can, it can be multiple bodies but or one creature, but at least three power worth of creature. To, you have to tap those to turn the Weatherlight into a creature from being just an artifact. All right, so not only do I want to play Weatherlight, but also we need to get Weatherlight's captain, right? Like if we're going to play the Weatherlight, we need our captain. So we got Joyra, the Weatherlight captain, and Joyra cares about historic spells as well. Every time we cast a historic spell, draw a card. All right, so we're going to be playing a whole bunch of historic cards. <clears throat> so then I was wondering where should we go from there? Since, since we are, um, you know, since we do have our, our, our ship and we have our captain, we should probably get our ship's mage as well. So Raph Capashin's in here. So we got our ship's mage. And Raph also, just like Joyra, they're both three power um, so that uh, so that we can uh, crew Weatherlight. So that's perfect. And then, like, there was, like, the like it could have gone, like, a whole bunch of legendary creatures, like Shalai, Lyra, um, Oketra, that can make, you know, like, that kind of way. I thought about that, like, Tajik's a good one. But there's there's not very many creatures, honestly, that really get to crew Weatherlight and kind of decided to go more of the Planeswalker route. Like, the Planeswalker route, we get to play, like, the Interplanar Beacons to gain life as well. But uh, another thing that I immediately knew I wanted to do whenever I was playing like these historic historic cards, is I, I wanted to play Urza's Ruinous Blast. I think that's a really good card that you can find off of Weatherlight, because you can find any historic card. And this is a legendary sorcery, so it is historic. Um, and so that, that was something that I knew I was going to want to play. And yeah, I kind of went with a, a more Planeswalker route like we've seen with the Jeskai Control. Now, I did focus on getting things that can crew. So we have Gideon Blackblade in here, because Gideon is a 4-4 creature as long as it's your turn. Sorry, excuse me there. Um, and so Gideon can crew the Weatherlight. We also have Sarkin that can make a 4-4 red dragon, and that 4-4 that can crew the Weatherlight. And then my personal favorite, one that I definitely wanted to play in here, and I was going to be, I was really wanting to play multiple of this card, uh, but, you know, in final cutdowns when I was trimming the deck, it went down to one. But we got the Warrior Poet since it's a throwback Thursday where we can make... 3-3 three, three green dinosaur creature tokens. Just the perfect size for crewing the Weatherlight. The problem, though, with making creature tokens with, like, Sarkin and Huatli is that your creature tokens are not legendary, so they do get swept up by Urza's Ruinous Blast, but that's just the price you pay. Oh, also Mu Yanling. Mu Yanling can, uh, after you tick up once, can minus and make a 4-4 four, four to crew as well. So that's kind of our deck. Um, you know, we got some Fibble Thips in here. That's a, a cheap legend to go with Mox Amber. So I want to play a couple of Mox Ambers because of uh, Joyra. Like, if we can play Joyra, then Mox Amber immediately we get to draw a card already. Um, so that's kind of what we got. Uh, sideboard, I did not go with Blood Suns, as you can tell. No Blood Suns because Urza's Ruinous Blast would just exile our Blood Sun. And I feel like Urza's Ruinous Blast is going to be just really good against the. Um, like your rock and Golos. I mean, it's not good against Golos, I guess, but it's good against like, eh, it's not really even that good against your rock. But your Risen Reef, <laughs> your Risen Reef and uh, 
cavalier thorns and just a whole bunch of zombie tokens you know you get to you get to exile those i guess maybe i need more removal for your rock and golos but you know we have stuff like teferis and, and everything like that uh jace is in here against control decks as like a, a four mana planeswalker threat there got a couple more expensive ones D want to max out on my ruinous blast against those creature decks and that's kind of our that's kind of our deck so let's go ahead and play our league um cool so with all these with all these uh throwback thursday decks we always like try try to play them through a league <clears throat> our other decks today that we're going to be doing for throwback thursday we have a Merfolk deck. That's that's by popular demand. People have wanted like a, a Merfolk deck with like Kumena and stuff. So we got we got a Merfolk deck. We have Bant Oath. That's a, that's another Planeswalker deck where that's going to be focused around Oath of Teferi and Kamal's Druidic Vow uh, that you can put in Oath of Teferi and a whole bunch of Planeswalkers. So tons of Planeswalkers with Oath of Teferi, so we can get lots of activations. And then Jund Unsealing. That's dinosaurs with Sarkins Unsealing. So we got dinosaurs, we got merfolk, and we got a bunch of planeswalkers today. Yep, yep, druidic vow is definitely um, both both druidic vow and ruinous blast in the banto. Yep, those are a big part of both of those decks, or those are both part a big part of that deck. Um. Yeah, so it's another so yep, so it's another legend deck. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like these kind of decks, if you like these or like or at least if you like this deck idea, make sure you check out the playlist in you know, like on the YouTube channel. There's there's a playlist there that has all of our throwback Thursday decks. You know, we've probably played around 15 to 20 uh, decks like this before where we've just built around a whole bunch of cards whether it's Ruin Raider or uh, it, uh, growing rights of Itlamok or, um, you know, basically all sorts of cool cards that didn't get to see too much standard play. Well, we have our captain. One captain... And nothing else. I think we mulligan. I don't think the captain's going to get it done without anything else. So I kind of want to put Sarkin back. Or maybe I'm supposed to put Mox Amber back. No. Because, you know, I want to be able to play, like, Captain plus Mox Amber on turn four. Yeah, I think I actually put Sarkin back. I think we want to make sure we keep our lands. we got to hit our land drops. Hopefully draw some other spells. My opponent's just not doing anything. Yay, there we go. Finally. Oh, that's awesome, Poppy. Saying the YouTube playlist has been helpful. Been doing the standard 2020 event, so going to the rotation proof decks to brainstorm some ideas has been great. It's awesome. Hey, Sin Christ. Howdy, howdy. All right, so it looks like we got Esper Control. We put a Plains over there. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just Black White. Cajun guy. Thanks for that resub there. So bad news is I only have the one basic. I assist those humbled by the pursuit of knowledge. So Crow another Yeah, another field of ruin is trouble. Also bad news is that my opponent picked perfectly with the red red over blue usually people would take blue 
Bit of law. Um. I see beauty in the. I kind of want to work towards the ultimate, but it's probably best to get that in play. So. Trust me. You'll thank me. That was the worst card no, to possibly see. I am not making this up as I go. Yay. Challenge a raging river. Alright, we got our captain. That's a cool animation. I've never seen that animation before. I think I've seen Joy Ren play. Must Here I think that's go. a newer animation. Yeah, I I saw I think I saw today's spoilers. I didn't Honestly, didn't I wasn't paying too close of attention. I had a lot of work with trying to get the computer settings to work and um, making the decks and everything today. Hmm. Bow to the howling wind. Am I supposed to just play the other Joyra just to draw a card? Probably not. Um, yeah, there's that card that's that's pretty close to Thoughtseize. That is a really huge downside of having to exile another card and two for one yourself, and also your opponent doesn't need to spend mana and you two for one yourself. I kind of see that more as a sideboard card against black decks more than a, a main deck card, but we'll see. Yeah, it's exile their best card, but is that... I mean, when you compare it to Thought Erasure, which Thought Erasure is just amazing, but I mean, I, th I think Thought Erasure is a better card. Darn. I wanted to see if Quell your temper. I didn't think it would, but I kinda wanted I just wanted to check to see if Mox Amber would add green. I didn't think it would. I would have been shocked if it did. But just wanted to see. I have two islands in play as far as Mu Yanling is concerned. Mu, as far as Mu Yanling's ultimate is concerned. Here goes nothing. That was a really good quality turn for our opponent. No, no. They've had a lot of those. Good quality turns, that is. Bow to the howling wind. That's more like it. Your actions are not welcome here. If I were you, <laughs> good help is easy to find in war. This has worked really well for my opponent. The sky is my domain. Everything has, especially that, that guild mage, that random guild mages forum. They're just playing a random guild mages forum with a bunch of field of ruins. But it certainly paid off. Field of ruins were really good. The forum, very good. This might be a bad idea. 
I had to kind of hope my opponent didn't really see that line or didn't take that line. And I got to ultimate Rise the Yamling. That was my hope. I'd respond better to kindness. Tick up, Moo goes to seven, take six. So ride the winds to victory. I would have just been ticking up Moo Yanling from the beginning if I didn't minus that one oh, other time and let them bounce the token with the fairy a while ago, maybe. And maybe we could have ultimated Mu Yanling. Death is I just have Ritual of Soot. It's like every every kind of different card choice my opponent has made from like a normal Esper deck has just paid off in spades for them here. I cannot bear to stay. Well, Teferi lets us, at least lets us not die immediately. Because this Liliana was going to ultimate at 9 loyalty. You'll thank me later. I'm not ready for this quite yet. So that, that thing was going to kill us with the ultimate. Yeah, Star of Extinction would have been don't. perfect. Take out Ascanta and everything else. Mind. My army will smelly, but effective. All right, so definitely love Gideon in this kind of matchup. Um, let's get these fries in here. Liliana really is a problem. Uh, not the biggest problem, come to think of it. Playing Golos. It's a good decision. Golos is really good. So, you know, Ruinous Blast can get rid of, like, all those other creatures. Maybe we don't play those, though. I am worried about all the cre the value, the four mana value creatures. Yeah, everything lined up really well for them that game. Alright, let's see if we get to keep seven cards, though. Let's see if we get a lot better hand. There we go. That is a lot better hand. Let's see our hand. You know, like, we started with Mu Yanling last time. I ticked up. And then... Ticked down and that tick down backfired so fast of them having three mana to ferry.
Weather light. So playing that first so that we can have Gideon crew weather light. What? Okay. Why do people just play this card against everybody? I really should have seen that coming. I don't understand it. Together we can banish evil from this plane. I believe Might as well do lifelink. So yeah, whether light gets to you know look at our top five cards and take any legendary any historic card. So you know like Sertro's Cant is a historic card. Yeah, like they took off turn three and and just you know spent a, spent a card in their hand just to make me rummage my Teferi away and get a different card. It's not that devastating. The focus on your prowess. Ooh. Ooh, this is tough. These are all good. That to spark on weather light hurt. I kinda wanna play this other weather light. Let's do it. I'll play this land they know about in hand. Prepare for battle. Hey Schnapps, thanks for that tier one sub. Gray says that seeing this reminds me that I wanted to make a Kamal's Druidic Vow Jace deck and I never did. Well, that's what we're playing. That's our Bant, our Bant Oath deck is Kamal's Druidic Vow, Jace, Oath of Teferi. That's what we got going on here. This isn't a fight you can win. Later on. Let's try Stop this. getting rid of my weather light. My weather light's so good. Wow. What a jerk move. Put thoughtfulness before action. I will lend you my strength. I think I just keep everything in hand. Only including Sulphur Falls because of Basilica Bell Haunt. Our deck does have really sweet animations. Gotta give it that. About notes in a Secrets manifest before you. Retreat. Alright, so that's going back down to one. I believe in you, friend. Uh, 
we got to hit our opponent with uh, um, we got to hit our opponent with Weatherlight, and that was awesome. So, so far this match, we got to play Joyra, got to play Weatherlight, hit our opponent with Weatherlight. We've been doing pretty good. So far, so good. I hope they keep on more Digo in. Because I'm pretty sure our deck can win without Teferi. I don't think our deck's relying on Teferi. So I, I would like them to just start with a mulligan to take three cards out of my deck. I will be just fine with that. And also, you know, them have to spend three mana. Good, Plague Vendor. Good. Glad the Yurok Field deck and 2020 standards working out for you. <laughs> Thanks, Franze. Yeah, dude, this is what this is what uh, Throwback Thursdays are all about. Just making some really sweet decks. Throwback Thursdays are my favorites. I'm telling y'all, there's there's so many good decks in the the YouTube playlist with Throwback Thursdays. Ugh. Slow hand, slow hand. I just don't really want to mulligan in this matchup. This is just a, a long matchup where we... I'm just going to keep this. This is a long long matchup, you know, like where we just see who has more cards left standing kind of thing. Hurts to mulligan. We are on the draw, and so hopefully we get to draw spells. That was not a spell. That was a terrible draw step. But... You know, if we just, you know, rip like a search for Escanta on turn, like by like next turn or like a Gideon the turn after that, suddenly our hand looks a lot different. All right, that's not so bad. Stop drawing the lands. No more lands. Yeah, the island was just our worst land to draw to. We'd seen them have the. Uh, field of you know multiple field of ruins. <laughs> this will be. It was just the thing. worst possible card to draw. Funny, that's what I do. But there we go. That was like our best possible card to draw in this spot. This is a prime day for justice. Share in my light. <laughs> Please. I don't really know what their goal is with Kaya. To be honest, another day, villain. It does get rid of tokens. Pack your bags and hit the road. Yeah. Like, is that their goal? <laughs> Play something that minuses really and exiles out. tokens. Better watch your back from here on out. Hmm. This has worked out really well for my opponent, especially with me drawing four lands. But now this looks really bad. Like the Huali doesn't even look like a good card to play because the Kaya getting rid of the token. Hey Caesar, good afternoon. Just not going to use their their Kaya at all. I'm really for what they should be using it for. So I think if I'm them, I'm just I exile the token with Kaya and bounce Fibblethip and kill Huatli. My plan. 
I know I can get rid of the binding. Come, sing the song of fame. But that four or five is honestly just going to be a lot of trouble. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. And we we cannot catch breaks with our draws here. We're going to need spells. Good for you. Shuffling they didn't use their guild mages for him. Please have please have thought erasure. Thank you, thank you. Beyond vision. You shall be erased from history. All right, we got the captain. Captain's in play. Wally didn't do too much work for us. She just traded with a a Teferi minus, a Kaya minus, and then, you know, half of the guard mage. You want those guards? You better watch your back from here on out. I've got time. Cool. Still like this trade. Still like just taking three cards out of my deck somewhere. For a spell in their hand. Unfortunately, we're just flooding out. I have 26 lands in this deck, I think, because, you know, we do have a higher curve, but... Oh, man, what a rip. Honestly, they just drew they just drew a land here. I actually liked where we were at. They just drew a land. That was just an awesome draw step, though, obviously. Uh, am I... dematerializing? Huh. Another time, Planeswalker. Okay. Joyra is good, but then we have another. We have another Joyra coming here, though. But if they if they just did if they just drew a land that turn. And then they, you know, have to, they attack Bellhaunt, you know, like kind of the same thing. They have Bellhaunt kill Ugin, and then my, my Joyra kills, like, Kaya, and then I get to draw the card. But it was pretty similar. But obviously, Hero of Dominaria is devastating. Here we go. Well, that's a great draw step. Yeah, where the, where the lights animation is, though, Final Fantasy VII.
Even a light breeze can be like that. Do not challenge a raging river. This is too bad. I think our deck had a really good shot of winning this match, but they just had two games of drawing a lot better than me. But I don't... It's, it's frustrating my opponent playing a card like Unmordigo that didn't matter and still winning. It's frustrating, but oh well. They had Guild Mages Forum to have the the um, Basilica Bell Hunt uh, get the plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, we just... I mean, I, I kept a five land hand, but, you know, we had five more lands in the top seven cards. You know, it was like two five land hands back to back. And that was the killer, was the, that second one. I don't I don't expect Deafening Silence to be very good. Each player can't cast more than one non-creature spell each turn. It's gonna have to be a, a like that's good against Feather. Is a cyborg card against Feather? I don't think that that's good against Control. Control mostly just plays one spell a turn. Alright, so Sir Eulen Drake stays alive. I kind of want to wait a turn for Deafening Clarion because... Because, um, you know, they could just play a Lord, but they probably play the Lord last turn. The problem, the problem with playing Joyra is then Joyra dies to Clarion. That's kind of the problem there. I didn't do it though. Like Huatli kills Healer's Hawk and Terramander. And draws us a card. Kill Hanged Executioner also. Closer than you think. All right, taking the three for one. The more I conquer, the sweeter the victory. The th three for one that draws us a card and gains two life. Alright, we're taking up. I'm known. Gonna be able to play Clarion during their turn. Let's try this. And then I can untap, bounce Conclave Tribunal. And then play Teferi, draw draw a card immediately. I hope they play like multiple creatures. Like that's that's the best possible thing for me, is that they just play multiple creatures. Alright, that, that counts I suppose. Time for plan B. 
just a one for one, but we'll take it. Wow, that's a good draw. All right, looks like looks like it is time for Plan B. This. All right, that Clarion was kind of silly now. Go ahead, opponent. Just play a bunch of cards. Play one drop. We just have two power in play. I just wait another turn. I won't let you win. I think so. No, I am not making this up as I go. Two power is not that much. Runus Blast can do better. There we go. Mm, yeah. Just one instant speed, one sided wrath. We gotta get our captain back. Uh, I would still like to be able to do that. All right, the captain's back. Draw some cards. Look for weather light. Ooh, there's weather light. This isn't a keep up the pace. I've got it. I wish we could play instant speed artifacts. This game went really well for us. Weather light. All right, we got the weather light in play and the captain. Hurry. Perfect. I assist those humbled by the pursuit of knowledge. Sky is my domain. Don't worry, I got this. They're not gonna have haste creatures, right? I don't think they have haste creatures. So I guess we don't really need to keep Joyra back to crew weatherlight. Thanks, Amuga. Yeah, it's already going better today. I um, reset the computer to go back to before the update, and so everything's working again. And so that's good. I've got time. Shall I can crew the ship? Weather light being crewed. All right, look at the top five. Which one of these do we want? They're all pretty good, I'd have to say. No, I was gonna take Gideon. <laughs> all right, more Runus Blast. That card looked really good. More Runus Blast, more Clarion. More Fry. Guess another Coil also. And less. I don't know. All our cards are good. Maybe I have like one too many land. Or no, it's only 25 lands. I said last game, last match that we were playing 26. We're only playing 25. Wow, we really flooded bad. It's only 25 lands. I'm going to take out a Mox Amber and the Fibble Thips. Can we bring in more Clarions? And maybe I trim a Captain because of that also. So Clarion and Captain's a little awkward. We still, we'll still have two Captains. 
Quali was pretty cool. I guess Ugin can go, I suppose. And what else? A Narset, and I want to play two coil. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, Weather Light is cool. So not quite as cool as Parhelion 2. I think Weather Light's cooler myself. I don't know, Parhelion 2 is pretty cool too. I like Weather Light quite a bit, though. All right, we need to draw lands. But as long as we draw lands, this looks good. There's a start. Splash. They, they may just have, like, a ninth dual land in their deck. Maybe. It may not be a budget mana base. It may just be, like, that extra dual kind of thing. The wind whispers secrets. All you have to do is listen. Bow to the Poor Moo Yanling getting wins. fried. This quest was a disappointment. All right, we had the Fry into Shalai combo. It's always a good one, Fry into Shalai. So I guess I need to Ruinous Blast. Oh no, they have Safara. I can't Ruinous Blast that thing away. But I guess I need a Ruinous Blast here. Yeah, Safara is actually really tough to beat. We gotta get rid of the Hanged Executioner. That's, Safara does not have first strike, so I can double block with a Shalai and a Sarkin token. That's about the best I got going on right now. But the opponent's sitting over there with four new cards. Bleh. Begin. Behold. They have one more land. Yes, they do. They can adapt to Terramander. And, you know, ruining Blasting away like th these other cards would be nice. But that gets rid of my 4 4 Dragon. Come on. Watch this. If this actually works, they have you know they could have like a dive down, but if this actually works and they just killed their Terramander. Wow, that actually worked. They are coming. Well, we're not dead yet. I'm glad we kept the two lander because with how we've been drawn today, no no doubt that we're going to draw plenty and plenty of lands. Please don't attack with that sailor. Please don't. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't do it. I will consume you. Weather light. Are you ready?
I tried I tried warning them. A dragon would rather die than lose. They have like instant speed removal for this weather light. I'm actually in trouble because then I don't get to ruin his blast. I don't really get to cast anything. I don't know like how much trouble I'm I'm in with I'm not having anything, but you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> go go weather light, find us chocobos. <laughs> All right, we got a chocobo. Let's slow this down. You need to take a time out. I fight with a dragon's rage. More chocobos. Come to me. All right. I think our opponent could have played that last game a little better, but still saw Urza's Ruinous Blast do its thing. Glad we picked up the win, though, so we didn't get eliminated immediately. I immediately. <laughs> Fire-breathing chocobos. Best chocobos. Let's do some more crewing. Yeah, hopefully my opponent learned some stuff with that game. Learn about double blocks and stuff. Same match? Same matchup? Different matchup? Drown secrets. Oh no, we're dead. That card's impossible to beat. Ugh. We're playing Mill. I don't have a fast enough clock to beat Mill. Alright, cast a blue spell, you mill two whenever you draw a card. Mill him, I guess. We bounce corrosion, That's I guess. Like we may get milled. I think kind of gets rid of an enchantment, kind of. Glad we got rid of that thing. If it was just for a turn. Uh, I should just be keeping it on top, honestly. Yay, that was the card I was looking for. Here goes nothing. You know what? I'm not done yet. That's gonna make our life easier, that's for sure.
All right, so they play Psychic Corrosion. I wouldn't mind another Drown Secrets. I don't know, just... Okay. That is, like, kind of like their best thing to have. We we get milled six cards, but we get to Ruinous Blast all these enchantments. That works pretty well. Time to get the crew. Get our ship's mage. To pilot this ship. Uh, I guess Arkin. Arkin pretty good. Trust me. I have a plan. No time for a break. I'll just play this one. We'll just play Sarkin at end step. Because we get to untap two lands with Teferi. Flash into Sarkin. Untap. Ooh, Watley. Watley's cool. Your part in this now Sarkin can make all these things. Might demands power. Let's have Watley jump in the boat. Alright, Watley's in the boat. This deck is sweet. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, we got instant speed Sarkin because of Wrath Compassion. Yeah, that, that's a squad right there. All right, need more blast. More blast. I guess we want these vetoes. Uh, Jace? I guess Jace is good. Yeah, Shalai looks pretty good. Jace looks pretty good. Uh, we can take out the Coils, the Clarions, and I guess, I, I guess I'd need both the Ugins, because those destroy enchantments also. We'll get, so, like, Fibblethips can turn on like the Mox Amber early to, to get to this stuff. <laughs> this deck seems to be a blast. Yeah, I saw this Spyglass guy reprinted. That's not, that's nice. That's a good reprint. All right, I'm going to trim Huatli and Mu Yanling. <laughs> Squad needs more boats. Good Parhelion. Do you want know a card I miss? Sky Sovereign Council Flagship. That really started our hype boat stuff, but I that's a good boat right there. I missed that card. They don't need the rest of Kaladesh. Just get that card back on Arena. That's a fun boat. That was your favorite boat? It's a good one. Weatherlight's probably my favorite still. Weatherlight's just cool. Hey, Shadowsfall. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, let's look for Escanta. It could be anywhere. Going with a bunch of counter magic now. Alright, fair enough. Maybe I need to keep that Fibble Thip to turn on Ruinous Blast. Yuck. We got 
Three in the graveyard. That's not very many towards flipping Ascanta. But they have to ferry. We need to move That's cheating. Quickly. I have to ferry. Teferi can't be siding can't be fighting both sides of the war at the same time. That just doesn't make any sense. How can that happen? Well, this one looks pretty bad for us. If Ugin resolves, it'll look a lot better for us. It's all, you know, it's whether or not they have more counter magic. But, you know, doing absolutely nothing on turn four and absolutely nothing on turn five. Not ideal. All right, cool. Psychic Corrosion milled over a couple of lands. So hopefully no veto. Ooh, yes, please keep that one. Hopefully no veto. No veto, no veto. No, no veto. Resolve. Ugh. Our opponent said, you want to cast Ugin? Sink no pate. Thought. Sink no pate? Yeah, that's what they said. They said no. I don't know. I was trying to I was trying to go somewhere, but just didn't really get get anywhere. Really, M remorseful cleric. What? All right. Well, I guess we don't get to flip past Kanta. All right. If we can just resolve this card, we'll be fine. Stop with all these counters. Because, yeah, I need to get rid of their Teferi. Like, playing Jace doesn't really help when they have a Teferi. They can tuck the Jace and then mill over Jace. So I needed Ugin or... You know, that was a great draw for us, honestly, that big Teferi. But we needed one of those, too. But it looks like they got me for game two here. So I need to get underneath counter spells this next game. They just have essence scatter. Wow, all right, so it's all about counter magic over there. All right, get Gideon back in, probably move Yanling also. We need to get these cheaper things. And Chandra, yes, please. Oh, yeah, we need Chandra. And Fry, can't be countered. Kill Teferi. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna ditch Mox Amber. I'm gonna ditch It's unfortunate, but I think we get rid of a captain and a weatherlight. And maybe even the other weatherlight. Because Weatherlight, like, not only has to resolve, but then you also have to resolve something else to crew it. So having to resolve two things, I think Weatherlight goes. Yeah, so that makes sense. 
for our, our game one, how we just played a little Teferi and then they didn't really do very much after that. That kind of makes sense. They're probably just looking at a whole bunch of counter spells. Into darkness. I wasn't really expecting that to resolve, to be honest. The darkness. They tapped out. So what I want, my plan with getting a land, my plan was to cast uh, Wrath Compassion at their end step. And then untap and hopefully get the fifth land and then be able to go Let's to Fairy Dovin's Veto also. Um. No, I am not making this up as I go. I believe in you. So they could play Big to Fairy, tuck Little to Fairy, but then we have Gideon to take out Big to Fairy. I don't know that why that was so difficult of a choice. Might be a bad it's idea. definitely a card I want. I kind of forgot that about Teferi just bouncing this patient rebuilding. I was thinking that I was going to have to... Um, I was going to have to like maybe get rid of Gideon to get rid of it. Probably don't want that immortal sun running around here. All right, that was a really weird game, but went our way. So we'll take it. We're two and one. Get in the weather light. Yeah, that is the problem with counterspell tribal. The fairy shuts that down. Hmm. Hope we're not playing against aggro. I want to see island, or I guess island could be aggro. I want to see like hallowed fountain. Oh, it's like the worst thing possible. Turn one land war elf. Still unbeatable. Not to brag, but my friend's kind of a big deal. I'm like not gonna be doing anything one for the draw. next like four Rips turns and still. And my opponent's gonna be able to play Nissa next turn. GG. Let's get moving. Sure. Turn one land war off on the play has still never been beaten. I don't know if you y'all knew that or not. It's never happened in the history of standard. Someone defeat turn one land war off on the play. I protect that which cannot protect itself. All right, well, I should have mulligan my hand. They didn't have anything before turn four, and they already played their entire hand before turn four and killed me.
And this is really rough with my sweeper of choice being Ruinous Blast. Because Ruinous Blast doesn't get rid of the lands or the Nissa. That's really rough. I don't know if I want all four Clarions or not. I think Clarion is going to kill mana creatures and Nissa creatures, but not like their other creatures. So I don't know if it's, I don't think it's a four of to have then. Besides, besides their Planeswalkers, Ruinous Blast is probably pretty good too, so I guess I'll go with three of those and just one Mox Amber. If we had two normal lands, this would be a good keep. You know, two land with Clarion, Teferi, and everything. Um, I would normally keep it, but I can't really keep two Interplanar Beacon for my only two lands, I don't think. Right? Or can I? Probably can't. Yeah, probably can't. It's not necessarily better. Hey, like a boss, thanks for that resub. Staying on that streak. I appreciate that. Our fourth sub of the day. Draw Joyra, Weatherlight. Alright, I guess Ruinous Blast. It's not a bad one. I'll show you Dry Walker something truly spectacular. Let's try this. This kind of feels bad, having one Fibble Tip in play and drawing the other one. Fianturo! Getting that Twitch Prime sub as well. Nature Bringing out some more hype votes. Some uh, Weatherlight hype. Thanks, Fianturo. And White Korean also with that resub. Thanks as well there, White Korean. Time to clam up. So many hype boats in a row there. Y'all are awesome. Alright, so we'll be able to flash in Raph Compassion. And then we can instant speed Ruinous Blast next turn. There you go, Pedro. Good. Glad you're using the, the Chandra deck, getting some levels. Happy to hear it. The ocean surges, life thrives. Ooh. 
Well, that's really bad to see. Because Ronus is legendary. Doesn't die to Ronus Blast. And obviously we're taking 10. Way more Ceratops. Uh, Close enough. I don't have to worry about doing that in response to the trigger because Ruinous Blast exiles. Should I tuck Kiora? Let's see if we draw this land. I love to make a splash. Hmm. Right on. So let's skip to the good part. Well, all right. Well, need need more ruinous blast. Another Clarion wouldn't be bad. One drop rips and grows. Uh, get to cycle again. Right on schedule. That's more like it. I need you before Interplanar Beacon. Battle. Still this Ronus, you know, is legendary. So even another Ronus blast, we don't get rid of the Ronus. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them from drawing all these cards with Kiora. Kioras were incredible. There, drew a bunch of cards of those.
suppose that's how it was meant to happen. So yeah, if I if I play Wrath there I'll protect you. Then If if I play Wrath and Chump Lock to keep Teferi alive, I'm getting rid of both Wraths. I think that is kind of rough. It's only a matter of time. They're really scared of Settle the Wreckage. As we can tell. I wish I could do the 3 damage and life link and not kill Wrath. Right. I forgot I don't have to ferry out anymore and I didn't get to clarry on instant speed. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure why they're playing that land instead of arc bowing, I don't know. It's just still all lands over here. They drew really well though. Kiora was awesome. Drew them tons and tons of cards. Well darn. So both of our losses had us flooding out quite a bit. If we do find Ruinous Blast, all we really have to deal with is... I mean, well, they still have the Arc Bow. They'd have the Arc Bow and the Ronus. Before that. But still, we got to do our thing. We got to play Weatherlight Captain. Weatherlight Captain was pretty nice. You know, got to draw a good amount of cards whenever we played Joyra. Just, you know, basically... Untab with Joyra, play a Planeswalker, draw a card. Not bad. Weatherlight, of course, was incredible. But uh, at first I thought we had 26 lands whenever we played that first match. Because we, you know, flooded out real bad. We drew 10 lands in our first 14 cards. And um, I was thinking that we had 26. And, and I was saying that I probably need to go down to 25. But looking at it, I actually was only playing 25. So... I don't know, pretty unlucky. Um, so, there we go. That's Jeskai Weatherlight.
So that's our Throwback Thursday stuff. Had fun with the deck. Uh, definitely. And uh, we got some other exciting ones going on here. So uh, going on here later. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And check out the playlist with all of these Throwback Thursday decks. There's a lot of really fun ones in there as well. But thank you so much for watching. Just got Weatherlight, and I'll see you for the next video.